So we're out here zip lining today. We're trying out a variety of mounts for the cameras just to make sure we get some different angles. We've got a helmet mount going on. We've got a chest mount. I've got a wrist mount here. And my son and I are both getting the shots. It's working out. It's a lot of fun. The jungle is a bit steamy, so one of the things I'm keeping handy is a cloth to wipe things down because I've noticed the lenses get fogged up. And of course, if it starts to rain, because we are in a rainforest, or in this case, a high humidity forest, we want to wipe those down so you don't get fog or droplets on the lens. But this is just a great, highly visual activity. The operator of the Zipline Tour Company is going to need to approve your equipment. Don't try to sneak things in. Because of this, I recommend you choose the smallest camera you have. Go with the GoPro, set to a medium field of view. The new GoPros keep getting better and better for photography, and if you explore some of the courses here on lynda.com, you can learn how to set those up to take some pretty decent JPEG photos. Additionally, make sure that that equipment has waterproof. Now, we put our GoPros in waterproof cases, and the Pentax point-and-shoot action camera that I had was also both ruggedized so it could get banged up and was totally waterproof. This was what I needed. You are going to get wet. You are going to get cold. You are going to get wind blown, and you might even have some accidental bumps you weren't expecting. What I found while I was shooting is that I needed a camera that was designed to take a beating. And it got really, really wet sometimes. You're out in the middle of the forest zip lining, and it starts to pour. There is no stopping and just walking over to the van and heading home. You're going to finish out the course, so make sure you have enough equipment to keep your stuff dry. If it gets too bad, put the camera gear away. Additionally, with the cold weather changes, I found that those action cameras very quickly lost battery. Because of this, we needed to balance out some of the settings on the camera to make sure that we got good results, but it didn't stay running the whole time. With this in mind, let's talk about some techniques with the action cameras so you get the best shots overall. 